Hey YouTube, this is FCC Crusader 28 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do some pretty cool Windows 7 tricks. Now, these aren't available on Vista or XP. Uh, I've tried on my other computer, but if you have Windows 7, then you're in luck, because Windows 7 is pretty awesome. So, first thing I'm going to show you is... If you're like me and you have a lot of windows open all the time, let's just open up a lot of windows. I have about that many windows open all the time. So if I. And if I just want one of these windows open, it'd be a pain to just go through. Minimize, 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 minimize. But what you can do is if I wanted this one open, I take it, hold down my mouse, and shake it. And it all goes away. Now if I wanted them all back up, just shake it again. So that's one really cool thing. And another is if you're doing something for school and you need two things open like WordPad and your internet browser what you can do is you can have them both open at the same time so you can look for your research and type it at the same time instead of having to switch back and forth so first you drag this over to this side and a little window should pop up and it's right there you drag this over here and it's right there so you can do your research and then without that going down you can just type it over here now speaking of doing homework I use this a little bit more than I should for homework usage it's called speech recognition now most people don't know about this but it's really easy to find so you go to your control panel and well you should have it like that when you open your control panel. You can't find it like that. So you go over to view by category, large icons. And you scroll down until you see speech recognition. Right there. Click on it. And when you first open it, it'll take you through a tutorial, which it does really cool things. And it learns how... Your, how you talk like if you have a speech deficit you can still use it because it learns how you say things or if you're from Brooklyn like sorry to if anybody if I offended you by saying that but you know they have different accents or if you're foreign you can still use it because it learns how you say the words so I'm not gonna go through that because it takes about 15 to 20 minutes but once you're done, you click on Start Speech Recognition, and that should pop up. It will say Off right now, and I'm going to show you how to use it. So, click this button. Open WordPad. As you can see, it is very easy to talk, type with your voice. Stop listening. It turned it off. Now, I made a typo. So, what I can do is I can say, start listening. Start listening. Huh. Well, if that doesn't work, you just go to press that button. Select, was that the delete select talk delete go to end of the document period you can use this for your homework assignments essays 
delete essays, comma, essays, comma, reports, comma, ETC, period. Okay, so this is how you can do this. It's really, really easy to use and beginner friendly. Select A. Delete that. Select all. Delete. Close that. Don't save. Stop listening. You can also use this for your internet browser. Like you can say address bar and go to www.facebook.com. So I'm not going to show you how to do all that. But right now I am going to show you one more cool little thing. It's called a problem screen recorder, problem step recorder. So if you or a friend ever have a problem and your friend doesn't want to come over and help you try to fix the problem, here's what they can do if they have Windows 7. They can go down here and type in PSR. And it should come up with a PSR.exe. And there's no download. It's really nice. So if your friend wants to learn how to get gadgets on his desktop, you hit start record hit OK if that comes up and hit start and you can show them like how to do it like if they want a calendar do that stop record okay and then you can save it at, it'll be a zip file so if you don't have WinZip well tough nuts you have to find one um and use the evaluation version. That's free, but it takes a second to load. So I'm just gonna name this test, and it'll show up down there as test.zip. So we open that. Use evaluation version. It takes a second. Okay, and you open this up, yes, okay, and now it shows you step by step with the how to up there and a screenshot, it'll show you step by step how to get gadgets on your system, which I have used before, and it comes with a little coding thing down there. So yeah, and this is really, really nice. You can just send them the link and they can find it. So, this is FCC Crusader 28. And thank you for